Hey everyone, it's Coach Ryan Nett from Miles to Go Endurance. Hope you're having a good day. Today I want to talk about shoes. I want to specifically talk about uh, this new categorization of shoes which is coming in, which is called Maximal. And I notice a lot of uh, beginner runners are having a tough time ex kind of understanding what that is and how it relates to minimal and how it relates to this old definition of minimal we used to have, or minimalism. So I want to show how both of those terms are kind of being combined and how those types of shoes can be combined um, and give some, um, some examples of that. So let's look at a shoe and specifically we're going to look at the thing that makes a shoe minimal or maximal in both of the ways we're going to look at it and that is the stack height or the size of this midsole. This is a shoe. This material here in this part of the shoe here is called the midsole. Now the stack height is measured in millimeters as the difference between the ground and where your foot sits inside the shoe. So it is the size of this midsole and this midsole depending on the company and depending on the shoe is made up of differing materials. Now, this is a, a, a Brooks Cascadia 4, so I'm going to go by the Cascadia 8 um, specifications, which are pretty similar. Uh, so there's a 27 millimeter difference between the ground and where your foot sits. So there's 27 millimeters of stuff. Now, in a maximal shoe, this is a traditional trail running shoe. In a maximal shoe, there is a larger amount of stuff, so there is a greater stack height. So if like something like a Hoka or an Ultra Olympus, which are the examples that I'm going to use here, you're looking at something like 33, 35 millimeters of stuff, 35 millimeter stack height between your foot or your foot and the ground. Okay. So when we're talking about minimalism versus maximalism it, with Hokas and Ultras, that's where the definition is coming from. It's coming from specifically the amount of stuff that's there. And that stuff as it sort of gets, um, as it rises, as they put more stuff, it tends to get softer. So Hoka's will have more of a stack height and the material that they're using in there is also softer. So you're getting that cushion. Maximalism, you can just kind of associate with being more of a cushioned shoe like Brooks Trans Transcend and, and things of that nature. Okay. Now, when you also look at minimalism uh, versus a traditional running shoe, and this was the talk about a year or two ago before these maximal shoes in terms of the amount of stuff there came on the market, you were looking at the difference between the stack height of the heel and the stack height of the midfoot. In most traditional running shoes, there will be a difference. The heel will have more of a stack height than the midfoot, which gives something called the offset or the drop. And you're sure you'll hear people throwing this term out all the time and you might not know what it means. It's simply the difference measured from the heel, from the stack height of the heel to the stack height of the midfoot. In the Cascadia, it's 10 millimeters. So this is 27, this is 17, 27 minus 17 is 10. So you get a 10 millimeter difference, a 10 millimeter ramp essentially from here to here. Now in a shoe, like a Vibram, uh, there's obviously a zero millimeter drop. So there's zero difference between here and here. And ultras have a uh, zero millimeter drop. The uh, Innovate Trail Rock um, 245s, my trail shoes, have a th three millimeter difference, a three millimeter heel to toe offset. Okay, so that means there's just three millimeter difference in the stack right here to here. Now, you can have a maximal shoe. So you can have a shoe with maximal cushioning but you can also have it on a smaller, um, more minimal drop platform. So you can have a shoe that has 35 millimeters of drop here, or 35 millimeters of stack height here, and 35 millimeters of stack height here. So you're getting a minimal shoe in terms of the amount of offset, in terms of the difference from the heel to toe, but you're getting a maximal shoe in terms of the amount of stuff that's in between the ground and your foot. And this is this new category that's coming in. So you can look at a Hoka, which in some of their shoes has four millimeters of, um, of offset, but they have a very, so it has high, um, high stack height, but it has four millimeters difference of stack height from the heel to the midfoot. And so there's this new sort of category of shoes that are coming in with that maximal amount of stuff, but the minimal amount of difference between the heel and the midfoot. So I just wanted to make sure to shoot that so you understand kind of where this new category is coming in. Um, and, and the discussions that are going on around it. If you have anything to add or if I forgot anything, make sure to throw it in the comments or be sure to send me a message uh, at ryan at miles2goendurance.com. I uh, hope you have a good day and happy running.